exactly. What? Go on, my son. <laughs> But, but I... Don't deserve to run this country? President Vector. But I will need your help to do... Oh, I'm sure we can come to some kind of an arrangement. We'd need a preferential. be joined for the sake of the world. Let the banners of war ne'er again be unfurled. United, United we, stand we stand as one, one single land. land. So he's looking to bring back this Horned One. Yes. And if we can join forces with the other kingdom... I see. Yes. But I can tell by your face, you're not gonna back down. Thank you so much. You'll be going with our new friends, Bracken? Yes, Mr. President. But is that really all right? Sure. And she'll be important to yours, too. You heard the man. From hair clips to airship? So President Vector was free from the grip of his obsession. And Broadleaf became the next country to sign up to the Declaration of Interdependence. And not only that, but Evan found a new friend in Bracken Meadows, whose endless inventiveness was sure to help Evermore flourish as never before. Only one great nation now remains. Ding dong dead. So Lottie finally showed his true power. Yes. And everything seems to be settling down. It does, yes. And his friends will learn to trust him again soon enough. I only hope that I can forge such firm friendships. It takes all kinds of kings to make a world. Perhaps you're right. Hey, Evan. Have you ever thought about what you'd do if someone really close to you betrayed you? What? Oh, I was just wondering. 